Hey everybody, it's Amber at Waterfield. I thought I'd give you a little video this week just to show you the odds and ends. I am in house one, which is usually our more most retail ready greenhouse and we've tried to consolidate everything in here that's left. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what is still in here. There's the six inch Celosia, the Concolius is large and beautiful. Here's some leftover geraniums, coleus, fuchsia, euphorbia, scavola. Just want to let you guys know what we have left in here if you're looking for anything. There's some canna back there. We have a few trays left of the landscape begonias that are still in flower bunch of the six inch geranium need a little bit of cleanup but they're beautiful here's our six inch lantanicra it's the citrus color and then six inch african marigolds starting to flower up especially the orange this is our ready crop of heliotrope smells amazing right now. Buds and pretty flowers. And we have some odds and ends, four and a half inch callies. And I wanted to show you, we have some evolvulus that recently got cut back, but it's just starting to take off again. It has those gorgeous blue flowers, really cool in planters. I am gonna list a new crop of three inch Ipomoea. I know some of you are looking for it. We only have three varieties. There's the Solar Tower, and then this is the Red Heart and the Marguerite. They are not labeled. And I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of a close-up. Some of them do have a little bit of bug damage, a couple bite marks in there, just full disclosure, but they're beautiful. We have a good amount of the hot peppers still left. You can see jalapenos, red cherry hots. We have one or two flats of habanero, cayenne. We also have little fingers and classic eggplant that are getting large but still in really good shape. And here is the sea of tomatoes that are still looking beautiful, even though they're very, very big. I'll show you like that ready for the garden. Here's one of our ready crops of basil. We have a surplus of 806 basil right now. As you can see, it's really nice and full. Really, really nice. And then we actually have a round right behind this that's a little bit smaller. This is our ready crop of cukes. This is probably gonna be our last round for the year. They're popping up. Um, we actually have plenty of cubes that are much larger than this also that are ready to go in the ground if anybody's interested. But we have all three varieties right here. Burpless, Market More, and Pickling. Here are the nice new six inch round of wave petunias. The pink's a little behind on coloring, but everything else is looking really nice. Medium, budded, really pretty plants. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the fans, but these are the status of the 10 inch lantana crop. You see they have a lot of flowers. Here are some of the 12 inch funky hanging baskets. I'll show you a couple different varieties in this house. And then there's some more in the next house. Some over here. Especially the ones with Lobelia in them, they're really starting to size up and look really nice. This is house three where we have more of the 12 inch funky hangers up on the line. Some really pretty purples and yellows. And then I will show you the 10 inch purse lane in here and the ready crop of marigolds. Here's some purslane. If you look at it from the top, it's nice and full. Tons of buds. 
nice flowers. That'll go all summer. And then down here, here's our ready crop of marigolds, full of buds, full of color. Just get a little shot of that nice yellow purslane. That's a gold color. And then there's some orange down here. The wind's picking up a little bit, but I did want to show you guys the 12 inch mum crop that we got planted this week. And we're working on the 14s now and things are coming along. It'll be mum season before we know it. 